Welcome to Nerdarchy, for nerds by nerds. Today, we'll be talking about hel- half-elves. Which half do we talk about first? <laughs> How about we talk about the whole? The whole. The whole or, elves, or, or the whole of Nerdarchy first. I'm Ryan. I'm Ted. Dave. Nate. So, half-elves. Pretty sweet. They made them not suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice they don't stick in this edition. Uh, I, I, for the life of me, I, I can't recall a half-elf I've played in previous editions. The, the setup on this one is, you know, pretty perfect. I'm definitely feeling the itch to try it out. They were super lame in 3.5, weren't they? I think so. They are really, really vanilla. And I remember in second just using it to play multi-class fighter mages. So <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, why, that's why I picked it. So it wasn't anything dealing with the actual race abilities that I got. But in fifth, in fifth they shine. Yeah, they that's true. Pretty cool stuff, yeah. They're skill monkeys. They get more languages than anybody else. Well, they're half they, humans, so... They get more points than anybody but the human without the variant. Although they don't get the feet. <laughs> they don't <laughs> so get the feet. Choice. They get a, you get a plus two to charisma and a plus one to two different stats. Of your choice. Of your choice. So that, that you know, makes it incredibly versatile. Yeah, that means the half-elf can really be good at anything. Right. right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's really good at your charisma-based characters like yeah. the sorcerer, warlock, warlock paladin, bard... Paladin, but it can really you can play anything with the. You could be you could be decent. Well, with the one thing I was saying before is like you could dump charisma and still not have a crap charisma as far as like your saves and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 your crappy score is a ten. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. so and then everything else is onwards and upwards from there. Right. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I love the fact that they get the bonus uh, proficiencies. That's a big deal in this edition. And that's anything. You know, two 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 proficiencies in anything you want. Now, granted, you know, you might look at it as like, oh, well, it's, it's a it's a whopping, you know, plus two in the beginning to two skills. But if you look at, you know, you can always make checks on on anything, you know, having having that proficiency bonus late, you know, late game when it's a plus six, that's pretty freaking huge. Well, even the plus two is a big deal in this edition. Every plus one counts. I mean, when when you're when a sixteen is like the equivalent of having an eighteen or a twenty of previous editions, right? You know, an extra plus two is a big deal, right? And in the and the fact that all the DCs are lower, you know that you're gonna get you're gonna get more mileage out of that plus two. You know, you know, for playing a lot of different games online, when you see someone come in with a twenty stat because they unquote quote unquote rolled their stats, um, <laughs> that plus five compared to everyone else's best score of plus three is a huge difference. You add proficiency on top of that. I mean, they're like gods and stuff. Right. Plus seven, yeah. Imagine if they're a rogue with expertise. Right. Oh, jeez. You know, you know, then it really gets out of control in this edition because when you have a plus 10 to do something, you are a god. Right. right. That's, that's, You're pretty much going to do it. The hardest, the hardest thing to do is a 30, I think. In yeah. This edition, yeah, 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 yeah. Odin, Odin forbid if you get like a magic item that gives you a plus something to do the thing on top of having like a twenty stat and proficiency in it, and then maybe another plus two from a magic item. I haven't. Because what is that? Let's see. So. A twenty stat is five. Yeah. Um, proficiency uh, starts off at a two, maxes out at six. Yeah. yeah. So it t- would bring it to a seven, but like say you're you know a rogue and have expertise, that's a nine at first level you can do. Mm. Yeah. So, so I think the plus two is a huge now with deal. this expertise. Can you can you take these two skills that the half up gets and uh, attach them to something that you already have from either your class or no no uh, they're okay, separate that's, skills. Yeah. Expertise is actually an ability that the rogue gets. I think the bard gets it at some point too. Uh, well, with, the knowledge cleric gets it as well. Yeah, well, certain, well, certain double, things double get stack it. your proficiency. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but uh, double your proficiency yeah, bonus double, for two double skills. Your proficiency bonus. Two skills, or well, actually, the the rogue can also use tools too, because like, well, I think thieves' tools is the specific tools that they get to do that with for expertise. Yes, but so like you know when 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 you double that, like all right, it starts off at a two, but when that bumps to a three, that's being bumped to a six. So you you stack that on top of that twenty. Yeah. So Crazy. back to half elf. <laughs> so that was that pretty much all that yeah. skill stuff pretty much takes care of the human aspect and their ability to take two plus ones and put them wherever they want to right. as long, other than charisma yeah they're very versatile yeah, very versatile so now the elf part of that is what they get they get what like, they get the dark vision dark vision what oh, 10 feet Bonian. 20 feet you know no, they get the dark vision full exactly on, the full same th- this is one of my pet, they get full blown this is one of my vision. pet peeves with fifth edition is dark vision it's uh, you know, I feel like the half elves should have gotten you know a lesser dark vision, 
You know, just like I feel like, like, why the hell does a Dragonborn not have dark vision? Like these things, these things baffle my they mind. They keep you up at night. They do. Yeah, I can't sleep. <laughs> so uh, they have the same dark vision as elves. Uh, I think that was kind of like to just eliminate complications of. Well, I dark can only there's vision. there's either dark vision or non dark. Yeah, you can either yeah, see yeah. in the dark. You can't. Except for Drow, apparently Except for Drow superior, because, because everybody loves Drow. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, and that that brings me back to my pet peeve. Why can you double it for the Drow but not half it for the half elf? It half doesn't make elf, any sense. Half the vision. That's yeah. it. So uh, they did half the. Uh, well, they, for Fey ancestry, they have uh, advantage on saving throws against being charmed, and uh, magic can't put them to sleep. Now is that exactly the same as the elf? Or I, don't think it, I think it. Might I be. think it is. Yeah. Might so again, you know, they're getting the full, the full amount on it, but they didn't. They just did not have the vision. They did not have the. Everybody vision. can see sixty or nothing. Unless you're drowned. Unless you're, you're better, because you're, then you're Unless just, you're the favored race. Yeah, and then you're just better than everyone else. <laughs> the master race. The master race. <laughs> it's written exactly the same. Yeah. If there yes. wasn't clerics with sunlight spells and a sun orbiting the world, mm -hmm. drow would take over the world. That's right. I don't know. Is there still a sunlight spell? There's light. There's a, there's a spell. Yeah, but mimics. light doesn't hurt them. There's a there's some kind of like I mean radiance. I mean, no, maybe not. Maybe I don't know. There's got to be some kind of sunburst. That's spell. for another time. Yeah. <laughs> How do you kill vampires? You know, like, there's got to be a sunburst spell. Uh, well, any you know. Well, I mean, the cool thing about, about half elves is it lets you do a lot of sort of uh, interesting flavor things without actually being it. Like you could make a half elf that's half drow. And like, there's no game mechanical things other right. than your baseline half. And I can explain why you so you can see just as good yeah. as the regular. Right? Ones, yeah, so. clearly. But for another, half a drow but, elf. but for another thing, you could be half aquatic elf, and like, yeah. it's just my skin's kind of green tinged. Uh, but and maybe there's like the vestiges. And maybe of, you have the sailor background. Well, yeah, and maybe there's vestiges yeah. of gills, but like not really. Mm -hmm. Like you got some weird thing going on in your neck. But like again, it's That's just like it, it's just an interesting story sort of thing, as opposed to just being your run of the mill. Uh, half elf, so I don't know. You can do cool stuff with that. Mm -hmm. um, you can play around with any combination of various uh, human races, and you know. Well, it's funny too because, know. like, it also like you know, in the in the fluff of the stuff, it's like an elf and a half elf make an elf, a half elf and a human make a make a human, a half elf and a half elf make a half elf. <laughs> <laughs> so it's almost like a, I guess like the, it's in some ways it's like a true race. Mm. Uh, now I don't know if they did the full on. I don't think they did because I think four E did that thing. Like, yeah, like, have, I was like, that's dumb. Yeah, I think they they did it with half orcs and and half elves yeah. because they didn't want rape babies running around everywhere. Mm -hmm. So what yeah. happens if a half elf and a half orc make a baby? It explodes. <laughs> it becomes a quarter of an abomination. Yeah, well, yeah three quarters human, one quarter abomination. <laughs> <laughs> Are you green skin with with pointy ears? Isn't that no? Wouldn't it still technically only be? Wouldn't that be still be half human, and a quarter elf and a quarter orc? Yeah, I don't know what the uh, breakdown I'd, is. Uh, I think you'd still get funding from the government, but yeah, <laughs> no, nothing really shows up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my word! Yeah, <laughs> I'm thinking of grants and. Uh, you know, yeah, I don't know. Foundation, there's a foundation. What, this is going way off track. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, poor, poor half orc, half, half elf. elf. I mean, like, I, I guess as a PC, you just say that I'm a half elf or I'm, I'm a half, half orc. orc. Or I'm just a human. I just look kind of effed up. I'm just a really funny looking <laughs> human. I'm, I got some well, weird you, stuff. You did though. that. You you made a, a guy who was human who had orc as features. Yeah, yeah. yeah he was like an eighth of. He was like a sixteenth yeah. of orc on his mother's side, yeah. <laughs> twice removed or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean that's all fluff and flavor stuff that you can do. Um, you know, this this half elf though. You know, I, you know, I think I did make a half elf. I made a half elf. My warlock that I made is a half elf. With uh, the criminal background, and uh, he's your spell sniper, right? He's my spell sniper. I right? thought you were gonna make him Typhlin. Now you ended up going different. No, no, I went half elf because you know they're cooler. Half elf's <laughs> well, the, the plus two, the charisma versus the plus two, the intelligence. Yeah, that had nothing yeah, to yeah, do yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, I was totally whoring that one over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. and the uh, dark vision is pretty important too. I mean, you know, without having to carry a torch around and this and that. Yeah, yeah it's definitely helpful. That doesn't make a good sniper. Typhlings get typhlings, dark vision. Yeah, I'm sure a typhlings going to get dark vision. That'd be silly if they didn't. Dragonborn. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> it all comes back to the dragon, the dark visionless dragonborn. Yeah, really. <laughs> they're, and, they're the step. Well, nah, I really do think the only ones that don't get it are human halfling and dragonborn. Dragonborn. The most innately magical race <laughs> cannot see in the dark. Based on creatures that I'm pretty sure can see in the dark. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think at some point in time, Dave's going to pull out the chainsaw. He's going to tear through the rules and say, okay, dragonborn have dark vision, half elves have 30 feet. That's the end of it. my home bro. When, yeah. when we get to sort of laying down the house rule hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It may just happen. And, and while I may just make checks for everything. Yeah. <laughs> just because you want to see... Oh, you want to go to the bathroom, to the privy, do you? <laughs> Drop a wild, wild search Well, do your magical nature. Yeah. <laughs> that's magical fish you've got yeah. there. <laughs> now, you use your yeah. breath weapon, that's magic. Maybe you, nor uh, you urinate daisies. Let's just see how, <laughs> Let's see how this Let's have a roll. Oh, it's a fireball! <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna burn. Uh, <laughs> uh, <sighs> you're so wishing you had gonorrhea right now. Uh, all right. And that's the wrap up for half hour. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> yeah, wait. Is there anything else? So, yeah, they're awesome for a bunch of different classes. Well, they're not so much a dislike, you know, half breed race anymore. They've got their own, you know, the, they can they're the like just diplomats. They're the, kind of like a foot in each in each uh in each race's path, you know, in a sense. Although I kind of feel like although uh mechanically they're they're way more interesting than a lot of the other races. Mm -hmm. Fluff wise, like they fall short for me. Like when we did gnomes, yeah. I think the gnomes are the opposite. Like they fall short on the mechanical stuff, yeah. but the fluff stuff is awesome. Well, I mean, but there hasn't been like a lot of um, half elf canon characters of note to like really draw upon or whatever. Whereas like there's been some really fun well, like gnome uh, characters written into like the literature. I think that that's part of. Um, like Tannis you know, Half Elven is not the most beloved of, uh, <laughs> of, of you know characters, yeah. which is. But I don't properties. know. But you said gnome. Who's a gnome? I don't remember reading about any. There's gnomes. really memorable gnomes. There's characters. really I can think of one. scenes. There's really memorable scenes with gnomes in them. I can only think of one. Well, who, who springs to mind when you think gnome? Um, the deep gnome, uh, Snurf Nevlin uh, Belvoir. Uh -huh. Right. And that, you know he was memorable because you know because Drizzt got his hands cut off. Right. Sideline character, though, really. I mean, not really. Like, I mean, if you talk again, that's kind of my point. Yeah. <laughs> there aren't any main ones either. Don't get any love. Yeah. Not well, like dwarves, uh, halflings, elves. They're not as sexy. Yeah. 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 And I look at you know the the fact that in previous editions they didn't have you know the the love that they're being showed here. That they're really being you know pushed pushed into the spotlight to say, look, you know, l let's make them you know balanced and desirable. As opposed to the, well, let's just have someone pick it because they want to be somewhere in that middle. They want to be that rejected guy. You know, the, the book shows that hey, you know, they're established race. This is what this is what goes on. This is how they are. Um, so, so I think that I might have thought of a half elf character. Uh, was, you already have one. Was uh, <laughs> Sadira? Wasn't she half elven? I thought she was human. From the Dark Sun? I yeah. Was human. Maybe. I, I thought know. she was half-elven. I don't know. Yeah. I think she was one quarter abomination. <laughs> <laughs> Nerdarchy! To Google! Yeah, to the Google good. mobile! Yeah, yes. yeah, well, We're going to figure this out. Yeah, we'll, we'll be right back. Not no. really. Um, you know what, what's funny? In, in the Player's Handbook, they specifically mention um, sort of the half-elf thriving as like a wilderness -y sort of character like being a hermit and going into the woods yeah, yeah like that's the least optimal build for them really <laughs> it's like being a ranger or a druid is not really the best being away from people to influence <laughs> right right exactly i'm gonna be alone even though i'm really good with people i'm gonna be alone and go away from them. <laughs> yeah so. people like me by gosh golly yeah so i don't know it's it's funny so like yeah they'd also make decent clerics with like the, your host of uh Charisma based skills well, that you do. That. Any anything that you're going to use the charisma skills for, you know, they're they're going to work. You mean you could certainly play a half elven rogue, it would certainly do well for any of the yeah. you know, deception and skill monkeys. Skill monkeys, um, you know. But then, as you said, you know, could absolutely say, well, I want to play a half elven for the other things they get, and I don't care about charisma. So you wind up getting that. Well, my eight becomes a ten, and you know my. My crap stat's not really all that crappy, right. you know, and, and you move on from there. So well, they, they really have the biggest swing. Even the fighter, like even you, okay, I want to play a fighter. Well, you know, it, it never hurts to be immune to sleep and resistant to charm. Absolutely. And, you know, a scene in the dark is always useful. 
you know, well, if if you're a, a strength fighter, you have a plus one to strength. If you're a dex fighter, you have you a plus, plus one to dex. dex. Or both. <laughs> yeah, or both. Or, yeah. you know, I'd probably say one goes in the con. Yeah. But, you know, so they, they can have the good stats. You can dump charisma, and it won't really, you know, adversely affect you. Mm. You know, it's a it's a class that doesn't get a lot of skills. And buy a bunch of your uh, and and buy a bunch of your stats that odd numbers or plan your feet tree in advance. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but you know, adding two proficiencies to to a lot of classes is super useful, especially if you're one that only gets two, and then you get two from your background. So now you're up to six. You know, as one of those classes that aren't skill based, and that's you know it, you know the extra language is nothing to sneeze at. Common, Elven. And one of your choice. So you know, there's there's a ton of stuff going I, on. I with really that. think there's there there isn't a class that the half elf doesn't doesn't. So do well so with. mechanically, they've given us a a crap ton of reasons to play a half elf like they did. They're very with, versatile, like they did mm-hmm. with the human, right? So these are the two classes I think people like to play the least. Races, races. Yeah, those two. Yeah, <laughs> I played elf back when it was a class. Yeah, yeah. Back <laughs> when I started, elf was a class. Now I I think you know. For the races, in my opinion, uh, half elf and human have always been like my my least likely to play. Right. With third edition, they started giving me reasons to play a human. Mm-hmm. Uh, the whore and power gamer in me you know, <laughs> felt the pull on the twitch. Call. Twitch. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, with third edition, you know, feats really were very interesting, especially when we first got started. Absolutely. Um, with fifth edition, though, mechanically, both of those classes have a lot of flavor to them. Races, but maybe you know, but fluff wise, they're still kind of boring. Like you know, when I look at all the other races, they're they're far more interesting. So so they did a good job on on that half of it. So but here's the thing: like now, on the fluff end, that's up to, in my opinion, us to us up to us as gamers and DMs and players to come up with how to make those characters interesting. You know, so... there. Of course, of course, we've all played with those players that they don't actually ever care to make their characters interesting. It's only about the stats and the mechanics, where I think when our, when in our group we do get a lot of players that power game the mechanics, but then when we build the story around that mm-hmm. and try and make it interesting. Um, you know, when you talk... Uh, when, I, when I hang out in a lot of these online communities, you know, the, there's a lot of player archetypes that are, in my opinion, way different than our group, where, like, you have the thespians and they only care about the story and the immersiveness and blah, blah, blah. And my, uh, you know, after a few seconds, my eyes glaze up. And they're like Nazis. They're like militant Nazis. They're horrible with this stuff. <laughs> Did you just, just say like, that out of character? Or in? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, and then you have the other spectrum, the power gamer, that, you know, really all they care about is getting the, the most crush. out of min-maxing the numbers. Where our group has always fallen in the middle. You know, we enjoy this story. We immerse ourselves in the story. We like to build effective characters that are fun to play. And, and so, I don't know where I was going with that. It's up to we're us. Al- we're awesome. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> it's up to us as the players and the DMs to make the characters interesting. Yeah, and make, make the, me- the mechanics better. coincide with the story. Mm-hmm. So you've got a half elf and you feel that the. The actual fluff is light, so therefore you have to create the fluff. You have to do, create do, the fluff. do the extra work and say, okay, well, you know, if fluff you're the if you're the DM, what are half elves in in your world? Are they an emerging culture? Are they something new? Has you know, is it is it is it taboo for a half elf to exist? Maybe there's a diplomat guild. You know, or something of that nature, where it's like hire, you know, the negotiator kind of thing, where you hire, a, and it's a group of half elves that all create a community together, are like an adventuring <laughs> troop. But you know, <laughs> are relations between your elves and humans less than cordial, and somehow they, uh, it's kind of like the orc thing. Where do half orcs come from? You don't want to know, kid. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it could be that that the thing. It could be like you know. Uh, well, that Creepies. that that was Tannis Half Elven's uh, backstory. Really? Yeah. He yeah you know he was a product of you know a human brigand uh, taking advantage of an elven maiden and, and and you know and that that was also one of the reasons why he was kind of ostracized one because he was a half breed and two because of you know how he came to be. <laughs> so, 
So that, you know, there is the half orc thing that does happen as well. But, you know, but then again, what about something more interesting like arranged marriages? Right. Yeah. And, and, and you know, really, the elves can really just use one person <laughs> over and over <laughs> again. <laughs> You're out, you're part of our outreach program. I know it's your 600th year, but yeah. you're almost done. It's time. It's time again. Yeah. yeah. Every 60 years, it's time to trade. Yeah. Or oh. Well, no, that that's could a lot be, of alliances be, with that, human lands that over could be 600 like years. A, a cast of an elven culture for like. Oh yeah, yeah like it, like almost like the guy like a geisha or something. Right. So. Which I'm probably completely using that wrong, but hey, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, so well, it'd be like a cultural envoy plus, <laughs> plus companion, companion, companion. I'm sure, there's a good euphemism for it. Well, no, I was speaking strictly Firefly. of Firefly. Yeah. Uh, they, they, yeah, but the whole pregnancy thing usually isn't a part of the deal. No, no, it's usually not. But companion was a cast, yeah, right. and and the job at the same time. Hmm. Much different than being a whore. <laughs> <laughs> totally <laughs> different. Completely different. But half elves. So I don't know. You guys got anything else? Anything else to add? I do agree that the the fluff is on the side of the the DM and the PCs. Well, yeah, especially because it's kind of weak in here. Yeah. I'm not. I was not impressed as far as the other races go. I love but, the mechanics. Uh, but like half elf, uh, you can go any which way you want with it. So it's kind of whatever you want. You want to have a roving team of diplomats. You want to oh, have I, a culture I, where there's actually a group. Of half elf somewhere, yeah. and I don't yeah. know. Honestly, in their defense, I don't know how to do it generically, and still be interesting. Yeah, I think that's you know, specific and generic. I, I really ones. feel that I think they left it open so that you know, if, if you're like us playing in a homebrew, that it's not molded to say, "Oh well, this doesn't fit how you're playing," so yeah. you know, you're beat. Uh, it just put out there, say, "Okay, this is what they are. They're they're between this and this, and go." So you can leave it in that spectrum of okay, you know, they're accepted, they're not accepted, they're somewhere in the middle, um, they're affluent or they're not. You know, so it's, so it's it's wide open for interpretation, and it's up to us as the GMs to flavor our world in the proper way with what half elves really are. You know. We haven't really established that in Griffin Gaff. You know, we have an elven elven community and a human settlement right here, but we haven't delved deeply into that relationship to say, is there a lot of back and forth? Griffin Gaff has only been around for 60 years, so has it been long enough for half elves to really be truly common? You know, so it's. They are listed in the uncommon races of the book. So. Well, that's the other yeah. thing that we might want to bring up briefly because we're talking about this is the fact the book does separate. And we, we mentioned this in the gnomes, is the book separates you know common and uncommon races. Obviously, half elf because it requires a human and an elf makes it fall into the uncommon category. Same thing with the half orc, and then you know you have the lesser known gnomes and, and the, the gnomes are a little weird to me. Just just saying that it's a little weird that the gnomes got relegated or relegated to the uncommon section. They're it's like always, Smurfs, dude. But it's always been part they're, of they're like, like Smurfs. You they're never hard to find. Smurf. It's always been like part of the canon. Like yeah. gnome has been in every edition of D and D until. But fourth. it wasn't. It wasn't a uh, wasn't a, a player race in fourth. That's what I'm saying. Up until fourth, it was always part of the core. You know, and then like now it's part of the core, but it's funny that they're shunted into the, like the little ghetto. Well, they got They the got They got to work their way back up to the to the power chain. Yeah, sixth edition dude, they'll be right in there again. Yeah. Strong yeah. regular common race. Yeah. Or, or dwarf's, uh, dwarf's tinier cousin. They'll be actually they'll become monsters of of legend. <laughs> no. of layers with layer <laughs> effects. Yeah, yeah. So and sweet treasure and sweet sweet treasure. Nice. So you know. Yeah, you're nay half elves. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, warlock, sorcerer, bard. bard. Yeah, uh, I really feel that they could, they could, they could do any class and do it well. Yeah, any any class. Our, our half elf's good enough to convince Ted not to play a human for the feet. <laughs> that is the real question. <laughs> uh, that's the question I asked myself actually. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I'm you know part part of me says well okay well is it worth me giving up the feet to get you know the extra extra proficiency in language you know for 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 my cleric in your game i mean it it's it's honestly like is is this a are you thinking about multi-racing in the half elf multi-race yes i'm just gonna discovered something in my ancestry i'm just gonna pick up some extra dna over here i went to ancestry.com yeah it seems i have more than uh just a quarter elf 
quarter yeah. elf on the yeah. Headed towards the half. Side. Yeah. So I I definitely dig it, you know. Yeah, it's good. It's just that, like, yeah, I probably would preserve it for the charisma based castery. That's true, but, like, if you look at ca Ted's character, another two proficiencies. How many do you got proficiencies do you have now? Seven. You have seven. How many languages? Six. So you. So you'd be at seven and nine. Well, I would, I would, I would lose some because I get the, I get the proficiency from human. Oh right, right. So I would, I would pick up an extra one, and an extra, uh, an extra language. So you're at, what do you? So, but so you I would lose have, the can, the cantrip and the. Knife, I would lose, right? I would lose the the two, uh, the two cantrips and the. Yeah, first we're just talking spell. skills right now. But you know, so I, I would pick up an extra skill and an extra language. So I have eight proficiencies and seven languages. Wow. Yeah. As a first level, are there eight there. proficiencies in this book? Yeah, <laughs> there are. I mean, he'd be hard pressed to find things that fit that particular character. Why is uh, your sage an acrobat? Well, he was studying at this uh, circus, and <laughs> he decided it wasn't for him. <laughs> Came across some jug some uh, gobblos. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, I think we've depleted half half elf for now. Like I said, and then went some, went on some tributaries. As well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a handful. Yeah. Uh, here's that. Let's face it. That, the half elf there's not a whole lot to talk about, yet they're still fairly cool. Absolutely. Yeah, I yeah. love the mechanics. I love the feel. You know, I think there's a lot of room to develop that race. So in, if you in honestly, our own world. so if you're honestly looking to go a a skill monkey, do a half elf, sage, cleric, with the knowledge domain, you're just crazy. Eight skills. Eight skills. So there you it's go. disgusting. So with that. You can always like, comment, share, subscribe, and there's some places they can find us as well. Check us out on nerdarchy.com. Or uh, or we have a subreddit as yeah. Nerdarchy and Twitter. Well, with that, until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy. Welcome to Nerdarchy, for nerds by nerds. Today we'll be talking about half, half elves. Which half do we talk about first? <laughs> How about we talk about the whole? The whole, the whole, or, elves, or, or the whole of Nerdarchy first? I'm Ryan. I'm Ted. Dave. Nate. So half elves, pretty sweet. They made them not suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice they don't stick in this. Uh, edition. I, I, for the life of me, I, I can't recall a half elf I've played in pre. More points than anybody but the human. Without the variant, although they don't get the feet, they don't <laughs> so get the feet. Choice. They get a, you get a plus two to charisma and a plus one to two different stats of your choice. Of your choice, so that that you know makes it incredibly versatile. Yeah, that means the half elf can really be good at anything. Right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. really good at your charisma based characters like yeah. the sorcerer, warlock, warlock, paladin, bard, paladin, but. It can really you can play anything with the. You could be you could be decent. Them. Well, with the one thing I was saying before is like you could dump previous editions. The the setup on this one is you know pretty perfect. I'm definitely feeling the itch to try it out. They were super lame in 3.5, weren't they? I think so. They're really really vanilla. And I remember in second just using it to play multi-class fighter mages. So <laughs> that's that's why that's why I picked it. So it wasn't anything dealing with the actual race abilities that I got. But in fifth. In fifth, they shine. Yeah, they that's true. pretty cool stuff. Yeah. They're skill monkeys. They get more languages than anybody else. Well, they're half they, humans, so they get more charisma and still not have a crap charisma as far as like your saves and stuff right. like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, your crappy score is a ten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So and then everything else is onwards and upwards from there. So. Right. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I love the fact that they get the bonus uh, proficiencies. That's a big deal in and this edition. And that's anything. You know, two 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 proficiencies in anything you want. Now, granted, you know you might look at it as like, oh well, it's, it's a it's a whopping you know plus two in the beginning to two skills. But if you look at you know you can always make checks on on anything, you know having having that proficiency bonus late you know late game when it's a plus six, that's pretty freaking huge. Well, even the plus two is a big deal in this edition. Every plus one counts. I mean, when when you're when a sixteen is like the equivalent of having an eighteen or a twenty of previous editions, right? You know, an extra plus two is a big deal. Right. And in the and the fact that all the DCs are lower, you know, that you're gonna get you're gonna get more mileage out of that plus two. You know, you know, from playing a lot of different games online, when you see someone come in with a twenty stack